If you own a central air conditioning system, this could be one of the most important videos you'll ever watch because at one point or another, you're going to get a clogged drain line and what you're going to come home to is exactly what you're seeing in this picture. You're going to have water stains in your ceiling that kind of seem like they're coming from nowhere, but what it is is your air conditioning system is right above that spot and that means that you've probably got a plugged or a clogged drain line. But in this video, I'm going to show you a couple quick fixes to get this thing unplugged and get your air conditioning back in business. First thing we're going to start with is a real easy fix. So go outside, find out where your drain line goes. You've probably seen it and you'll see water dripping out like it is here, but the rate the water's coming out right now is kind of slow. So what that means is that I have a clog further up that pipe in the air conditioning system and that's why it was leaking in the ceiling. So what I'm going to show you is a real simple way to try to unplug it and we're just going to use a little shop vac. Now you want to use one that's rated for wet or dry, but most of them are and this just happens to be a smaller cordless one connect the vacuum to the end of this pipe. But if you look close, you're going to see that the vacuum cleaner is much larger than the pipe. So a very simple, easy way to fix this is to just take a rag or some tissues like I'm using here, wrap them around the pipe. And what we're trying to do is just kind of close the gap with the vacuum. Now remember, this is not a plumbing system, so we're just trying to make it so that the pipe fits pretty snugly against those rags and we get as airtight of a seal as we can. So now we can go ahead and turn our vacuum cleaner on and we're going to suck anything out of that pipe. And you want to let the vacuum run for probably at least a minute. There's nothing you're going to hurt by pulling this water out of the line. And in fact, if you have a big clog, what's going to happen is when you disconnect the vacuum, you may see a few more gallons come out of this pipe. And that's a good thing because that means you unclog the pipe. But let's take a look inside the vacuum and see what we already pulled out. And as you can see here, the water's filthy because it's probably part of what was clogging the pipe. Now for a lot of people, this may be all you need to do. And if you're in a gym, it's 100 degrees out and your AC either just stopped or it started leaking in your ceiling, this is a simple quick fix that you can do that in most cases is going to unclog the line. But I don't really feel that this is a good long-term solution because very likely there's still some type of obstruction in the line and it's probably just a buildup. So you can try this and leave it at that, but let's move on to doing a little bit more of an in-depth fix so that you won't have this issue again for a long time. And for our little bit more of an advanced repair, we're going to just need a little piece of rubber tubing. Usually you're going to use an inch and a quarter piece. You can get this at a hardware store. It's very inexpensive. You're going to get a couple of hose clamps and then also some type of a pipe cutter. Now if you don't have one of these PVC ones, you can just use a saw. And then lastly, this little bit is the piece that we really need. It's a special brush that's on a wire and this is going to allow us to really clear the clog out. So as we go up to my attic, you want to always remember to turn your power off your air conditioner by the circuit breaker before you do anything. And now that we're in front of the air conditioner, this is what you're looking for. This piece here with the little bend is called a drain trap and more than likely that's where the clog is because it kind of holds water and you'll get some buildup in there that will clog the line. But the problem is we can't get in that line to clear it because it's all glued. So we're going to start by taking the door off our air conditioning system here. They're usually going to just be held on with a couple of screws, but your system could be different and you don't necessarily have to do this part, but I highly recommend watching the whole video and then you'll kind of understand why I'm doing this. Now with the door off, this whole mess looks really complicated, but what you're looking for is right where my finger is and it's where that white pipe connects. That's the drain that goes into the white pipe and then carries the water away all the way outside. But you really can't get in that part. So let's see if we can clean that trap a little bit differently without causing us too much stress. So I'm going to go down the line about a foot or so and I'm going to use my PVC pipe cutter and I'll very easily be able to just cut into this line so that now I can start to work on it. Now this cutter makes it really easy and because I use the vacuum there shouldn't be any water in the line but you still might want to put a towel down or some sort of a bucket but as you can see here I didn't have any water in it so it was not a problem. And this is where this really inexpensive brush pays off huge because what I'm going to do is stick this brush in the pipe and I'm going to start to feed it back into it. And what it's going to do is that brush is going to go right into the trap and it's going to follow that curve and it's going to help me scrub it out. Now these clogs are typically very loose material so a brush like this as soon as it cleans the pipe is going to completely clear it and make sure that that pipe is kind of like new inside and you shouldn't have another clog again for a while. But let's work that pipe in and out and then I'm going to slowly slide it out and you are going to want to have some sort of a bucket there because you'll see what comes out. 
What if you do all this and you think you have a clog down the other way of the line? Now that piece of pipe is heading to the outside. Now you can get a little adapter like this and that actually will fit onto a garden hose. And if you can get a garden hose up to your attic, you can connect it to that pipe and kind of blast out the line. But this is not usually where the clog is, so I don't generally recommend that. I recommend cleaning the trap just like I'm doing right here first, because as you can see, there's a lot of built up sediment and debris in the line. And usually the rest of the line is not the problem, but at least you know how to do the other end if you want to do that too. I have to push that brush in just a couple of times and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gallon of just water and I'm going to put my bucket under the drain line and I'm going to pour that water into the pan on the air conditioning system and what that's going to do is simulate the water coming out of the air conditioner and now you can see that that really dirty water is coming out the line. You don't have to do this part and that's why I said if you don't want to open your air conditioning system you don't have to and you can just do the part with the cutting and use the brush but this is an easy way that you can kind of make sure that your lines cleaned out. I may do the brush a time or two more just to make sure that everything's completely cleared out of the pipe because I really don't want to have to do this again for a very long time. Now you could go ahead and glue this pipe back together but there's a good chance you're going to have to do this repair again. So a really simple way to accomplish this is to use that piece of clear plastic tubing, stick it over the end of the pipe and then you're going to slide it onto the opposite end so you're basically making a homemade cup line. Now this is a popular thing that's done by a lot of air conditioning guys because it's easy and they can allow themselves to get back in to service it later if they need to. And all you do is slide it on and a lot of people will not put any kind of clamps on this but personally I like to just use a couple of hose clamps because it's just cheap insurance to make sure that I don't have any kind of leaks at this joint. And now I'm just going to tighten these clamps up. You don't have to go crazy, just enough to snug them up is all you're going to need. Because remember this line is never under any kind of pressure, it's just a slow drip of water. So you just want to make sure that things are watertight. And I recommend checking this again in a couple of days just to make sure nothing's leaking afterwards. It's never a bad idea to do that. And here I'm just replacing the door. Now this is just held on with two simple screws and then the opposite end of the panel kind of slides into a tab. So it's easy enough to get on and off. Here's a finished repair. It's neat, easy, and it really just cost about under five bucks to get yourself back in business. So if your air conditioning is having a problem, this is a simple way to unclog the line and allow yourself some access to that pipe again in the future if in fact you need it. Now we've got our power restored. All I want to do is take a look at that drain pipe again to make sure I've got some water coming out of it. Now it might take a couple of minutes, but this is what you're looking for. You want to have a pretty steady drip. It may not be this fast, but as long as water is regularly coming out, you should be all right really important to know how to solve this problem because if it hasn't happened to you yet it probably will unfortunately. And it's not the most exciting thing but if you got a water leak that's probably the worst thing so it's well worth knowing how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and stay tuned for more videos coming up.